Okay, listen here and listen good. This is one of the last self-development videos you need to watch. The last one, and I put my soul into that. If you follow this advice, this is the last one. There has been influencer after influencer milking the same self-development concepts time and time again. And I don't blame them. As an influencer who wants returning, reoccurring viewers, this isn't the smartest choice. Because you want these young men to return to your channel and become... The on it and also people just watch I know I have done this myself they watch self-development videos thinking that is developing them in the process and they feel like they're being productive by just watching the videos mm. I'm just going to give you all the information that I have right here because tomorrow is not promised. Truthfully, tomorrow is not promised. I know a wise man once said, only give people a piece of the information so they keep coming back. But I'm just going to give it all. Self-development teachers make the exact same videos about waking up earlier, cold plunges, going to the gym, meditation, going on a hike, etc, etc. And I'm not throwing shots. Listen, we all have families. We all have plates that need to be packed up with food. We all have people in our lives that we need to support. So I'm not throwing any shot. If I could recycle that somehow, I would do the same thing. And these are all great. I highly recommend all of these and I suggest you do them because I do them. But all of these things alone won't fix that deep, rooted spiritual problem that constantly leads you to laziness, depression, anxiety, and many other overbearing emotions that pop back up over time. Again and again. You get a good run and Eventually, the charisma, the productivity wears off. You're back at square one. Self-development is a man's alternative to God. Nothing inside of yourself truly changes. It's all the external shell. There's not many spiritual changes going on. You're always going to be the same man who now works out. But now this same man happens to jump in some cold water. And it's all coding the real issue. The spirit and the void inside of the spirit. And that inescapable pit you constantly fall back into that wormhole of comfortability that keeps pulling you back in is way more powerful than you think. This matrix has perfected stealing your focus, energy, luring you into dead ends by your desires, lusts, and temptations. Let me break it down super fast. The smartphone is literally a master plan on how to divert, steal your attention. There's companies that put millions and millions and millions of dollars into stealing and distracting you and pulling you away from what you should be focusing on in your life. Desires, your lust, going with the wrong female, going into corn hub, eating food that is appealing and tastes nice, going out with friends and having fun. There's a lot of desires, earthly, worldly desires. And there's a lot of lust that can bring you down a broken road. Like, for example, a hot female or a future wife, waiting out for your future wife or just a hot female and going down this broken path with a broken woman. That can steal your focus. That can steal your purpose. And temptations blowing your money on certain things. Going to places that you shouldn't be going. You get it. And that's just a little breakdown of what I mean behind desires, lusts, and temptations. But these overbearing emotions that are instilled inside of us are set beliefs. And they can wrap their arms around your soul to where it can be a fight to even be yourself. Everything is designed to enslave, weaken, and pin you against you. So you're fighting yourself. The battle is with yourself. And if the battle's with yourself, then you can't conquer the world. You can't do a multitude of things when you're battling your own self. And that's what they want. Now, that is a whole different conversation. But if you're a government that wants to control, enslave a population, the best way is to just target the mind and make them battle themselves. And let's say you escape battling yourself. But now you have to battle others because people are so judgmental. And anything that stands out, anything that sticks out, there's, you know what I mean, there's a lot of issues going on here. But this system has it down to a science. They even have food recipes perfected to reel you in to impulsively eating certain foods. The nerds at Silicon Valley spend their existence in offices finding the best way to steal your attention. Attractive women lead men astray constantly when they pursue goals for the ambitious males out there. Once you start digging into your purpose and you become productive and you're self-disciplined, that's when the attractive females 
come and they can drag you off your purpose, vice versa for females. Some weirdo guy could come into your life and try to drag you off what you got going on because you're in the gym, you're doing your thing, and now some guy's like drooling over you. Like it could be the same for females. This is universal. And if you don't have any luck with anything in real life, it's girls and guys on the phone that lead others astray with lust. It's the same battle. Also, society has brainwashed and conditioned every person to act relatively the same. You fit in because to stand out calls for judgment, ridicule, more pressure, anxiety, condemnation, haters, etc, etc. It's called the tall poppy syndrome. In Australia, when a poppy grows too tall, they will cut it down. And that is honestly the mindset of the matrix that you're surrounded by. It's like the Agent Smiths. If you're growing or you're doing more, they want to cut you down so everything is just comfortable. Now you can break that mainframe if you're strong enough and you can free people from that, but it is real. It's hard to truly be yourself in a world where everybody caves in to the people who are different. If you are different, you're standing out. You are set apart. You think that's easy? You think cold plunges, going for a run, meditating is going to give you the strength to be that person who's up against all these things. There's also a range of different seasons and to remain motivated, strong, and resilient throughout all of this is simply impossible. And to flourish with all of these odds stacked against you is truly, truly divine. You seriously don't know how much you're up against as a male, as a female. It's always going to be a battle. It's always going to be an uphill climb. And let's say you do become successful. Now people hate you because you're successful because people compare they have bad morals they have bad principles they're not of God the list goes on and it goes on and going to the gym cold plunges David Goggins is not gonna carry you throughout all of this it may help aid in your days but it's not the alpha and omega for what you're up against you need to focus on spiritual strength and that's the new level of discipline spiritual strength and this new level of discipline is dying to self. It's when you overcome every fleshly desire and impulse. The body will always distract, seek comfort, pleasure, and it's evolutionary senses that were made to help us back in the day where we're afraid when we feel danger and fear spikes inside of our system. And comfort told us where to settle, but now the world is cozier than ever. There is no danger around, and it's all spiritual, it's all mental slavery, and it's not better beneficial because we're literally afraid of nothing. I'm going to be honest, like some days I will wake up and have anxiety and be afraid of nothing. Absolutely nothing. It needs to be thrown to the side because it no longer serves us. It enslaves us. And the system we live in drives into those senses and really just magnifies them so it works to our own demise. Our body constantly seeks comfort, impulse, desires, and temptation. The devil operates in the flesh. You have to overcome your flesh. Fight the impulses, fight the desires, fight the temptations, and the power your flesh has over you will soon fade over time. And your spirit will start to strengthen and you will identify with your heart, soul, and mind. This transformation has to be with God's help. You have to kill the temptations and the desires of your body because it will always lead you astray. It will always lead you to a distraction. It will always lead you wrong. But your spirit it won't. And if you overcome your flesh, if you overcome your body's temptations, lusts, desires, all of these things, you overcome lust, you overcome cravings, you overcome temptations, you overcome everything that takes you off track and distracts you. The body wants to see comfort, desires, fun, temptations. Because when you die, it's not going with you. Your body will be left behind. So it wants to indulge in every worldly thing while it's here. Your body is like, I'm not going going with you to the other side. Your spirit will transcend and for me, it, I'm going to heaven. That's where my spirit is going, but my body's like, I'm not going there. So I want to indulge in everything this world has to offer, but your spirit is different. Your spirit's like, no, I want to do this, but your body's like, no, I want to go this way. And it can control your existence. Crucify your flesh and strengthen your spirit. Now to overcome all of these obstacles, all of these things in your way, there's just a multitude of things. 
You absolutely need God. This is a spiritual battle and God will give you the Holy Spirit and many principles and morals to overcome the abundance of attacks you will face when you rise up. Cold plunges, David Goggins, motivational videos won't save you. You need continual prayer and more intimacy with God. Build that relationship. Put God at the pedestal, not some mortal man who's made in the image of God. You need God. Let's be clear. You need God, not more gym time and cold plunges. Do you truly believe that will fix years of encoded, instilled programming that was fed to us through generations and generations and generations? You really think a cold plunge? You really think David Goggins is just going to make you snap out of that? It's a deep-rooted issue that is deeper than you can imagine. And this fight is too much for you to face alone. Way too much for you to face alone. You are being attacked by all sides. You may have a good run with self-development, but there's certain things we just cannot face alone. And if you want to be the greatest version of yourself, truly, you need to swim upstream. You have to swim against the current. If you're neutral, if you're staying still, you will be swept away by this current. Like, there is a pull, and it's extreme, and it shouldn't be doubted. And if you're not in the process of swimming to where you want to go, you will be swept away very easily. And the more you're swept away, away, the more downstream you go, the harder it's going to be to get back up. It will be a fight. You will literally have to fight with yourself, pray to God, lean on God, just to slowly bring that person that you want to be to the surface, to get your mind back, to get control of your life. It's no joke. As men, as women, there is a lot to battle. There's a lot to overcome when it comes to being the greatest version of yourself. Standing out is not easy. Self-development is the one off from the truth. It's close, but it's only half of the man, half of the woman you could be. I love to include the woman. You gotta include the woman, because I know there's a lot of male role models who just only speak to men for the clickbait, because self-development is trending in the men's space, so yeah, but we can't forget about the woman too. A real man overcomes lust, or at least battles against it, and ignores various female attention, no matter how attracted they may be, to wait for his future wife. Incredible self-discipline. That is next level self-discipline because now it's spiritual. It's not physical self-discipline. This takes true restraint. A real man does not become contaminated, corrupt, overcome by the wickedness of this world. But he prays for his enemies. He overcomes evil with good. It's that guy that kids can look up to and admire because the world never ruined him. The world never corrupted him. He's still peer through all the stuff that he has been through, through all the traumas, through all the battles, through everything. He is still pure. Why? Because he walks with God. You cannot remain in that state by yourself. He's slow to anger, loving when needed, focused when needed, and there ready to help when needed. He's not hyper competitive, jealous, or running innocent people in the ground or running them over. He's hard working, humble, uplifting, and takes his baggage to God. He takes his problems to God. If he has an issue, it's it's time to go to God. He doesn't bring those problems down on the people he loves. This is the man you and me should strive to be. Don't become cold of love and wicked. And this is a lot to ask for. But God is in the service of molding. God is in the service of developing. True self-developing. God will develop you. This is a lot to ask for and it's something you can't do by yourself. This is a lot to try to be when the world wants your downfall and it operates in the complete opposite way. Way. It's very hard. It's also a challenge and it sets you apart. And if you want to be great and not like everybody else, be the example. If you want to be a leader, there you go. This state of masculinity can only be achieved by walking with God. It's extremely rare and it takes true self-discipline spiritually on a whole other level. And trust me, you will crack, you will crumble and fold trying this by yourself, operating in your own power. There's too many characteristics, there's too many ways of being to juggle by oneself. Your last step in self-development is God. Because Lord knows you have tried everything. And why do I know that? Because I have tried everything. I have tried listening to David God and listening to all these things. But guess what? At the end of the day, you could try whatever you want, but that void is still going to be inside of you and it can only be filled by God. And listen, this world, if you really want to be set apart, you know how much strength you truly need? How much resistance you have to break through? How many battles you have to go through? You truly need a warrior spirit and you doing that by yourself being set apart being an outcast being all these things you know how 
truly hard that is. It's incredibly difficult. And there's no way a man can operate and do that by himself. Absolutely no way. And sure, maybe there's people who have done that, but they might have been raised in different conditions where the household was very mind oriented and had a very optimistic, positive mood. And they carried that momentum from a child to a teen to an older man. That momentum carried through. But if you get swept away by the current, you go down the other side of the seesaw. It takes a lot of work to get back up and then you gotta break through and you gotta keep breaking through. It's a lot. I'm not saying it's easy or you won't face any challenge when you lean towards God. Honestly, you will and you may face more because you now represent God and now he wants to set you straight. <laughs> When you represent God, there's a lot of upsides, but when God's name comes out of your mouth and you say you represent God, he's not just going to let that slide. You will be tested. You will go through trials. It's not always going to be a walk in the park, but neither is the other side. God has all these morals and these principles set up for your own spiritual strength. And these things are to help aid you in your process. Whenever I went through something, it brought me closer to God. Mm -hmm. And I stayed in the something. So now I'm closer to God. But being closer is hard. The attacks get stronger. Become much harder to fight and they last longer. But that's what it's always been. The joy with the pain. The dark with the light. The sun with the rain. But with the right perspective, it can be something to gain. Look for the good and the bad. Not the sun with the rain. They said they gone, don't think about the past Then they know who I was under the mask It look greener when you look at they grass Jealousy make you blind to what you have I never trip, never fall I get up quick, clever No, we won't be here forever Walking with God made my principle better You turn me up, up in the wave Enemy, he tried to lead me astray Thanking you when I don't know what to pray Lying, why would I act like the prey?